Welcome to Club Academia. In this video, we're going to break down some of the fundamental building blocks of every electronic device, the components. From tiny resistors to powerful microchips, we'll explore how these little guys work together to create the tech we love. This video focuses on resistors. What exactly is a resistor, and why is it essential in electronics? A resistor is an electronic component that opposes the flow of electric current. Imagine it as a tiny traffic cop directing the flow of electrons. It controls the amount of current that passes through a circuit. Just like a traffic cop slows down cars, a resistor slows down the flow of electrons in a circuit. This is important because too much traffic, or in this case current, can cause problems. Let's make this even simpler. Think of a water pipe. A wide pipe allows a lot of water to flow, right? Now, if you reduce the pipe to a smaller diameter, the water flow slows down. That's exactly what a resistor does to electricity. The water pressure is like voltage, and the flow of water is like current. So, a resistor is like a narrowing in the pipe, controlling the flow. Also, since schools and colleges aren't exactly teaching us how to build wealth, we have an announcement that Club Academia is teaming up with Wealth Talk to bring you the knowledge you need to succeed. Get ready for a financial education like never before. Learn about stocks, investing, money management, and so much more. Our goal is to empower you to take control of your financial future. Subscribe to the channel, Wealth Talk, for expert advice, tips, and strategies. Your journey to wealth starts now, and financial literacy is just as important if not even more important than academic literacy which is why we want to give you the tools to start thinking about this as early as possible. There are many types of resistors, each with its own characteristics. Let's explore a few common ones. Carbon film resistors. These are the most common and inexpensive, made by depositing carbon on a ceramic core. Carbon film resistors are made by depositing a thin layer of carbon onto a small hollow ceramic cylinder using a process called deposition. Metal film resistors, more precise than carbon film. They offer better stability and higher power ratings. Metal film resistors are made by depositing a thin film of metal or metal oxide onto a ceramic or glass core. The thin film is the resistive element, and the core is non-conducting. The quality of the materials and processes used in their manufacture determines their performance. Wire wound resistors, used for high power applications. Wire wound resistors are made by wrapping a conductive wire around a non-conductive core and then covering the result with an insulating material. A resistive wire is wound around the core. The wire can be made from different alloys, such as nickel chromium, manganese copper or constantin, and its thickness and type of alloy can affect the resistor's resistance value. Resistors are the unsung heroes of electronics. They're in everything. Your smartphone, your TV, even your toaster. They help control the volume on your speakers, adjust the brightness of your screen, and prevent your devices from overheating. They're like the backbone of the electronic world. Resistors have four colored bands. The first two tell you the digits of the resistance value. The third band is the multiplier, and the fourth is the tolerance. The common colors for the first two bands and their values are 0 black, 1 brown, 2 red, 3 orange, 4 yellow, 5 green, 6 blue, 7 violet, 8 gray, 9 white. This sentence is an easy way to remember this color code and its values. Big Bear races over Young Grizzly but Violet generally wins. Each letter of the word corresponds to the first letter of the color. The relative position of the word in the sentence is its value. This third band is the multiplier. It tells us how many zeros to add to the first two digits. Here's a quick breakdown of the multiplier colors. This sentence can help you remember these colors and their multiplier values. Big Bear race over Young Grizzly, but Violet generally wins gold silver. Each letter of the word corresponds to the first letter of the color, and relative position of the word gives you the multiplier value. So, the letter B in big corresponds to color black, and its multiplier value is 1. Similarly, the letter B in bear corresponds to color brown, and its multiplier value is 10. The fourth and final band give you tolerance. Gold, 5% tolerance. Silver, 
10% tolerance. A resistor with bands brown, black, red, and gold would be brown equal to 1, black equal to 0, red equal to multiply by 100, gold equal to 5% tolerance. So, the resistor is 10x100 equal to 1000 ohms or 1 kilo ohm with a 5% tolerance. Electronic components are like the building blocks of our tech world. They're those tiny little parts that make everything from your game console to your toaster oven possible. Understanding how they work is like unlocking a superpower. So, why should you care about electronic components? Well, for starters, they're the foundation for robotics. Imagine being able to design and build your own robot army. With a solid grasp of electronics, you'll be able to bring your robotic creations to life. But it's not just about robots. Electronic components are also essential for computer science, coding, and even artificial intelligence. Want to create the next big app or develop self-driving cars? You'll need to know your way around circuits and components. Thank you for tuning into this video. Take a moment to subscribe to Club Academia, as well as our financial literacy education partner Wealth Talk, which shares the tools and tips for smart financial planning.